Hey everybody, this is Ebony and welcome back to my channel, Everything Eb. Today is March, paycheck number one, cash stuffing. Here's my binder and I have my notes off to the side on what goes where. So we're just gonna get started. I may end up taking this watch off if the clicking on the table is too much. So anyway, we're stuffing $337 today. I have this out because I've added a few more savings things and one of them is gonna go in here. I'll explain it to you later when I get there. But if you watch my videos before, then you know about my lovely shadow box that I just absolutely love. And I'm sorry if this is crooked, but y'all know I can't be seeing what the camera look like. So um, we'll talk about it when we get to it. So for now, I'll just put it off to the side. I don't have my tray. I just figure we'll just do what we do and go from there. <clears throat> so one, 50, 70, 90, 210, 230, 250, 260, 270, 280, 290, 300, 310, 15, 20, 25, 30, 35, 36, and 37. So we may have to move this out. Let's just see <clears throat> so that we can get everything up here. But it shouldn't be too much because um, these larger ones will be gone pretty quickly since it's only one of each. So, hey guys, this again is February, I mean March. Oh my God, I cannot believe it's already March. March paycheck number one, which is March the 4th. I told y'all I was going to be back at it. And it's so crazy. I don't know if anybody else is like me. But I'm literally addicted to saving. It's not easy to do. Don't get it twisted. But... I am addicted to it. I really am. Like, I, I want to make more money so I can just put more money in my envelopes. I don't know how I fell off because I love it. I find myself having to, like, really check myself. Like, girl, you can't afford to be saving all this money at once. Because, truthfully, that's what you're doing. It's in cash and you're putting it towards something specific. But it's saving. That's literally what it is. So... I have to, I do my budget and I redo my budget and I redo my budget and I redo my budget because I'm like, you got bills, girl. <laughs> you got bills. Okay, so here's my binder. You all know her. Um, I've added a few things, like I said. So let's just get to it. All right, again, I have my notebook off to the side over here, and I'm just going to be referencing that as I go. So, the first one is birthdays, as always. That one is getting $10. It has $20 in it right now. So, it'll now have $10, $20, and 30 And if anybody can relate, like, none of my amounts are really large. Like, I just have to do what I can afford right now. So, any little thing helps, it adds up. Like, that would be $30 towards a birthday gift. And depending on who it is, that may be the whole gift, you know? So, it helps and it adds up. But really, that's for my kids, to be truthful. And I don't have a birthday until June which I know is right around, nope, oh my God. I have a birthday in April. So yeah, I need to get on that when that did I think about it. So um, I have some, some of this is from my paycheck, $187 of it is from my paycheck. And then 150 is from my, um, some side hustle money that I have. It's not all of the side hustle money, but it's some of it. So I have more coming and I am going to uh, put some more in birthday because my middle son's birthday is in April. So I am going to need to have more than $30. All 
All right, so the next one is car insurance. It has 10, 20. That one is also getting a 10. And I think I should turn the money around, but I'm not gonna worry about it. So car insurance now has 10, 20, and 30. And as I said, some of these things I'll have to beef up when it gets closer to time. But for now, I'm just doing what I can. It literally will add up. So, I'm still debating on savings challenges, guys. I don't know what to do or if I should even do any at the moment. Since I'm really just trying to get back into this. But we'll see. The next one is car maintenance and repair. You all know this is an important one to me because I need my car. So if something's wrong, I need to be able to get it fixed. So right now, car maintenance and repair has $40, 20 and 40. And I'm going to put another 20 in it, which will make it 20, 40 and 60. Right, we getting somewhere like this is enough for an oil change not with the wheel alignment and everything but i just got that last time and i don't always get the wheel alignment or the tires don't always need to be rotated so um yeah it adds up I, i'm telling y'all the next one is car taxes and registration which is also going to get a ten dollar bill it has 10 20 in it right now when i add the 10 it will be 10, 20, and 30. <clears throat> I hope the camera's not shaking, guys. All right. The next one that we have is Christmas. This is also um, an important one. I know it's not until December, but I, I'd like to have a certain amount or, well, not a set amount, but a nice amount um, for Christmas. So um, Christmas today is going to get $20. Right now it has 20 and 40. So adding this 20 will make it 20, 40, 60. Sometimes I sit back and think about how um, quickly this adds up. And then if you add all of the categories together, you're like, uh, how are you able to save that much? If I just try to save this amount in my bank, like... It wouldn't have happened. I am doing my starter emergency fund in one of my savings accounts. So um, I will show you all in my next like debt video or whatever since that's what I included. That's what I included the savings or starter emergency savings in with. So the next one is church, but... Um, it, it doesn't have anything in it just yet. The emergency fund, starter emergency fund that I have to redo. Church has 5 and 10, and it's getting a 5. So it now has 5, 10, 15. But anyway, um, I'm going to either deposit or transfer some money over to that account. So, because I'm actually recording this a little early because I had, like I said, some side hustle money. And then I had some money left in the bank. So I went ahead and said I wanted to get this video recorded and over with so that I can edit it and get it up and everything. If I edit, because I barely edit. So it ain't really nothing worth talking about. But sometimes YouTube be tripping when you when I try to upload my videos. So I said I'm going to try to do them early whenever I can. The next category is my G-Baby, which is my grandson. He is two. And he has $10, five, 10. He's also getting $5. So five, 10, 15. And 
And like I said, this is just if I if I'm in a store and I see something I want to get for him, which I really don't ever take this money out. So I don't even know why I'm playing. But if the time comes where I need to take the money back out and I've spent it on him, I want something to be here. The next one is gifts and giving, which is going to get $10. It has 10, 20, and then we add the 10 to make it 10, 20, and 30. I thought about doing the coin challenge again, like I did a quarter challenge. I did a bunch of challenges last year and they really did help. Like at the end of the month, I would do half to savings and half to debt. And that really did help. So I'm thinking about doing that again. I just don't know what I could really afford that wouldn't um, affect these or my bills and the things I have to cash flow. So I'm still trying to figure that out. So let me know what savings challenges you all are doing that are not too, um, too much just to be honest with you. But anyway, this is Holidays. Holidays has five and 10. Holidays is getting a $10 bill this time. So it'll have 10, 15, and 20. But yeah, let me know what savings challenges you all are doing and maybe I will join you if I can't afford to. Or even if I don't do it now, I am definitely going to start because I just I need I just need to pay stuff off, y'all. If you saw my if you haven't seen my debt video, check it out. It's on the channel. I uploaded it last week on Monday, I believe. Not this past Monday, but the one before that. Um, and just see my debt payoff plan, y'all. I was embarrassed to share that, but it is what it is. So this one is income taxes. It has $10 and it is getting 10. So it'll have 10, 15, and 20. And like I said, I redo my numbers over and over and over and they get lower every time. I'm like, oh, I forgot I gotta do this. Or let me be realistic. I'm gonna need some spending money or whatever to last me until payday so i'm just like i just have to be realistic with my numbers so i need to start naming these low income or small uh cash envelope stuffing or something like that because baby i see some people stuffing thousands of dollars at a time i just ain't got it like that but i wouldn't consider myself low income either but the income i have to save is low at the moment but anyway, here's a new one, and it's vacations, and this is specifically for me and my guy when we travel, which we like to do. Um, so I, I told y'all I got a Cricut, and just got a Cricut, and I only had black and red vinyl, or so I thought, but I forgot that I had bought a turquoise too, so this doesn't match this binder at all, but it's still cute. So this was travel slash vacations and I ch changed it to vacations because that's what that was for. So, so far it has $50, 20, 40, 45, and 50. And I am putting in it $100. So it'll now have 100, 20, 40, 45, and 50. $150. And I don't ever really know. We are planning a pretty big one in a couple months, but we're also the type that may just decide, hey, let's go here um, this weekend or next weekend or whatever. So you never really know. We don't have anything planned before the big one, but... Like I said, you never know. So that's the new one. That's vacations. And then now this is vacations, which was vacations. 
and this one is now going to be for another trip um that we're planning like a couple's trip with some other couples so this one is new and it is getting $25 so 20 and five this one will be a little closer towards the end of the year so today's the date again well i'm doing it a little early but i'm putting my actual pay date on it so that it can all just coincide so 25 now for vacations which right now is the couple trip that we are just in the beginning stages of planning Miscellaneous one, you all know, is my little personal thing that I have to pay. It has $50, 20, 40, 45, and 50. And I'm putting another 25 today. I think I'm gonna take something out when it gets to 100 every time, but we'll see. So 20, okay. 20, 40, 60. Oh my goodness, I forgot about this little regular money. 65, 70, and 75. Oh yeah, I'm like, why do I have, oh, I didn't put it in. Why do I still have that 50? But y'all should have seen me trying to do this math. Oh my goodness, it was terrible. So 75 it is in here. Um, tr not the math, I, the cash breakdown, because I wanted to have bigger bills in the ones that could go in, but I had it all separated to see what's coming out of the paycheck and what's coming out of the, um, what's coming out of the paycheck and what's coming out of the side hustle money. So it was just, it was just too much. It took me a long time. So, um, and then the next one I have, this is miscellaneous too, which I've now changed to our passports because we do need those as soon as possible. And I just used the back of the old travel one because I didn't feel like getting up. But that one is going to get $82, I believe, or... I don't know. Whatever this is is what it's getting, y'all. $77. I think 50, 70, 75, 76, and 77. I don't even know if that's right, but that's what's going to go in there today. How about it? But I'm going to have to do some math because I don't know if that's right. So, Passports has a total of $77. Again, that's 50, 70. 75, 76, and 77. I feel like it should have had $87. Let me see, 25 and 27. I'm off, y'all. I don't know what the heck is going on. But yeah, I'm all the way off, so this ain't right. Because I think it's supposed to be 57 so I missed putting a $20 bill in something. Oh, yeah, 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 yeah. 25 I should have 25 left, so I put $5 too much. Anyway, so this one's getting 57 Oh, I put $5 too much somewhere. But yeah, I'm sure I'll find it. I don't know. I found it, y'all. It was supposed to be $52. That other five went with the girls trip. So you'll see that it's in there on the next video. 
So that's it for the binder slash sinking funds. And then here's $20 left when it should be $25. And I do have a $5 bill in my purse, so I might just get up and put that in there too. But that's what this is for. My shadow box that says girls just want to have funds is now my savings for my girls trip you all know i go on a girls trip every year and i'm saving in this um it is not a set amount i like to save i just like to save as much as possible before the time comes and then i have less to come up with at the last minute so it's supposed to get 25 but for whatever reason i don't know what what i did with one of the fives so I'm just going to put this $20 bill in here and um, I'll probably take a $5 bill out of my purse and stick it in there because I want to kind of stick to what I said I was going to do. But that is it. That is all. Everything is stuffed and done. Thank you all so much for watching this video. If you are not subscribed, please do consider subscribing. If you are one of my subscribers, I do appreciate you. All the love and support is, again, appreciated. Um, I will see you all in the next video, which guess what? Guess what? Guess what? It's a Fitness Friday video. So, see you all later.